Greetings, everybody. I think it's time to start a new season. Um, fall is over, and maybe I should do a wintertime series of what things look like around the house in the dead of winter. Well, today is only November 30, but we had about three, three and a half inches of snow today, and uh, just wanted to come out before it starts to melt off in the next day or two. Give an idea of what it looks like. Also, this camera um, got a firmware upgrade yesterday, so I wanted to try it out, see what uh, improvements I may have made to low light with it. As I know that the other major improvement that they did for it was regarding its ability to um, handle the new microphones. They're called the DJI Mini Mics. And right now I'm talking on a, on a DJI Mic 2 mic, which is almost three times as heavy. And the new mics are gonna be able to go Bluetooth two and a half times longer than what these can. And I should have been paying more attention. I was watching my feet uh, where we're going. And uh, so that can shoot 450 feet without any problems um, when you're walking around. So Cindy wants to get way ahead of the crowd and I can uh, be back at the camera. I can still communicate with her. She could tell me what she's seeing. So I'm walking out here with the Pocket 3 camera, coming into the backyard just to see what we got. It's winter. Leaves are definitely gone. These are the neighbor's yards. These are the wintergreen thujas, if you can see them out there. Maybe they're, need to get a little lower. And uh, I wanted to get out here before all the dogs and the kids came trampling through the yard. We put up some new lights the other day on the railings, and I think we're gonna be buying some colored lights to replace these because they're all getting older, and who knows how much longer they're gonna last. These are incandescent. They're a little yellowy, uh, still good, but some of the strands are going out, so I wanna get them replaced, plus, these uh, North Poles are brand new this year. Too small for lights this year, but they'll be big enough for lights next year. So I wanted to uh, get some lights for them and get ready for next year. Okay. Also, we decided that we're gonna take back these DJI Mic 2s, the old ones, which are 55 days old and replace them with the new DJI Minis. And they're like one third as heavy, carry two times further in distance, and uh, they're half the price. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the swap out tomorrow. I've already bought the new ones, I just haven't taken the old ones back. I wanted to get out of the Black Friday rush, if you know what I mean. So incandescent and LED, white. You can tell quite a bit of difference. Bricks will be upset because they didn't properly white balance and get things the way they should be before I got out here. But I'm just more or less shooting in night mode, automatic, not really getting too carried away with anything. This is down here in the bottom of the hill See how they're looking. Maples with no leaves. This is the memorial maple. It didn't, fall, the leaves didn't fall off. They're still on, they're hanging in there. And uh, don't know what it's gonna do next, but it's gonna have a hard time with those leaves on it. And I bought another bird feeder to hang on this tree so that I'll be able to um, see it out my office window here. When I'm watching the birds, birdhouses, believe it or not, we had a bluebird 
at that one house right there yesterday. He stopped by to check in on us, see how we were doing. He was born in the back porch over the little gardens there. It's pretty dark, you probably can't see that. Okay, coming around the front. This one guy said, if, if, it's, if you can't see your feet, you're not gonna see a video. Yeah, I think there's something to be said for that. Okay, we got a lot of light in there. Okay, so this is the beginning of the, the winter season. It'll probably be a video of its own, unless I just post it up because a friend asked me about it. He wants to see what the camera's like. Okay, well, here we go. Welcome to wintertime. Fa ra 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 ra. So if I turn this around, do I get me? Uh, I had to tap it to turn around. I punched the wrong button. I hit the off button instead of the on button. Oh well. Okay, we'll catch you later. It's fun. Bye bye. Good morning. A winter's day in a deep and dark December. December 1, 2024, Sunday. Good morning from our backyard and uh, reminiscence of Simon and Garfunkel. I thought I would, uh, I, as I looked out here, I remembered the song, thinking of what it was like back in the 60s and um, getting up all those cold mornings in Chicago, delivering newspapers and then going down with your ice skates and skating to school and back on the streets and then turning around and skating all night long on the creeks and uh, lighting fires and staying warm outside. Those were the days, a little chilly. <laughs> all right, well, I shot this last night in the dark and for the sake of a friend, I'm gonna turn around and do it again in the daylight here and uh, just walk down those steps because it's uh, a little steep coming down right here. But the steps are holding up pretty good that we built last year. They're looking good. So let's, I guess we'll start right over here. And I guess, I think I'm trying to be more mindful of what I'm shooting and how I'm holding the camera. Am I going too fast, too slow? Some people will be bored out of their mind and other people will go, yeah. I was telling Cindy yesterday that we finally got trees big enough that you can actually see snow on them when snow hits here. So like the Thuja's, she, she noted that yesterday. She could see that. And, uh, and the plants, and of course, we've always got like the garden with snow on it. I think that's gonna be about the end of our garden. <laughs> uh, the burning bushes are losing their leaves, but you can see the Somerset maples, they're holding their, their uh, snow on the branches. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's walk out here and see the, see the thujas over here. I wanted to get out before all the kids got out and made a big ruckus out here so it's not too wild and crazy. I haven't seen any birds in the birdhouses in uh, the last couple of days, but oh, there's somebody up there. I guess he thinks I'm, I'm coming in on his territory. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we still have red color in our burning bushes. I'm amazed that they're holding their own like that. I'll be bringing this into DaVinci Resolve and I'm trying to remember what that color looks like versus what it'll be when I uh, edit it and post in the Resolve. Oh, really nice. They were over across the way, they were sled riding down that hill yesterday and uh, got the dog really upset all day long. So he's, hopefully they'll be done with their sled riding today and they'll be playing with their, you know, Black Friday toys and whatnot. 
And they're probably getting ready for Cyber Monday. Okay, well, the, there's the new feeder, Kim. Um, the deer came and took it down. They had it hanging right about on this branch right here. And it's, I need a step ladder to get up there that high to put it up. Hopefully that'll be high enough. But I'd like to get it a little bit higher, but that branch isn't strong enough yet. But I need a way to easily get up and in and out of the tree. The other hanger just arrived yesterday. What happened here? How did this branch get cut off like that? I must have left it there for the bird, for the birds to sit on. <laughs> I forgot about it. Okay. More thuses over here. They're taking off, man. They're about three feet, maybe more taller than I am now. You can see them up there. Somerset maples. And John, the nice thing about the Somerset maples is they have no maple seeds. It's just leaves and growth. Not super fast growing. Slower than normal maples. They won't be as tall as normal maples. But there will be no maple seeds to worry about. And the leaves are smaller than average. And so it's... Uh, easier to get them mulched up in the fall. This is a uh, fireside maple, fire glow maple, that uh, looks really stunning when you get backlight on it. And it holds its leaves, and you can see um, it's not wanting to give them up very easily. It hangs on for a long time, and just late in the spring, it will turn around, try to do something, uh, drop the leaves and get ready to start all over again. It's also one of the first trees that puts new leaves out in the spring. So I never quite understood why that is that it is. So that's where the kids were all sled riding down the hill yesterday. Okay, keep on coming here. This is my office window right here. You can see right there. I think we're gonna recalibrate that and Right out here is a, another summer set, and I think I'm gonna put the new bird feeder right here on this twig, right about here, so I can see it. Uh, yeah, I think that's strong enough. Okay, we'll see. This is where I saw the bluebird uh, yesterday morning. Okay, unfortunately by the time I got city back, it was gone. So that's the male blue holly. It, uh, it doesn't grow pyramidically around, I have to shape it. Uh, the North Pole. We're going through the North Pole. <laughs> okay. I hear a puppy dog. You hear a puppy dog? That's Mr. Bandit. That's Bo Bandit. He's getting up. He probably hears me out here crunching in the snow. He likes the snow, but he doesn't like the cold. Another Somerset maple. And that's the tree with the big branch on the lower right-hand side. And I'll get the uh, chainsaw out and cut that down here before much more time goes by. And without the lights on it, you probably don't recognize it right now, but that is the front yard. Car is still covered with snow. And these are giving up their, uh, their geraniums. They're pretty well seen their better day. They looked good until two days ago. I guess we forgot to turn the light off last night. Okay. There's a neighborhood. Ooh. I wonder how that'll hold up with the uh, <laughs> camera has stabilization, but I wondered if it'll stabilize that. Okay, that's the neighbor, that's the courtyard. The gimbal is just tracking around. Okay. Pencil thin juniper. It was supposed to go really slow, but it, It'll get over the top of that light, 
What I think I ought to do is cut it off right down here at the bottom and replace it. Put something else here that's not so much work. Okay. And I have just a thing in mind. It's a petite Arborvita. Here's the crepe myrtle. She's uh, given up her ghost finally. More red buds. And we're moving back to the backyard. Okay. I think everybody will be starting to get back up here shortly. We've got some ducks flying out. When we were here, there was nobody else here. This was all wide open territory. We were like house number five in the whole neighborhood. And this level, this lot was level when we bought it. And they brought dirt in and raised us up, made this hill, which I don't like, but that's what they did and we couldn't stop it. Okay, well, here we are. Happy December, everybody. Hope you're getting ready for the holidays. We are. Take care.